Hello everyone, in today's video I will be going over the arena car duplication glitch. There are a few requirements for this glitch that include the arena, the MOC, which also means you have to own the bunker, and you also are going to need any arena vehicle fully upgraded such as the SC Classic that I will be using in this video, but you can also use any fully upgraded Benny's vehicle. You also need another car that you don't mind losing, I would recommend going with the free allergy or a street car. Now the first thing you want to do is you want to make sure your matchmaking is open. So you want to press options, go over to online, go down to options, and then go down to matchmaking and make sure it says open. Now for those of you who don't know, that is the spectator box right there. When the time comes, you simply walk over to it and press X. Now we're also going to go ahead and make sure that we have either our arena vehicle or our Benny's vehicle in the arena along with our allergy. To make this easier just go ahead and set them right next to each other. Now once you have all of that set up and ready to go you're gonna need to press the home button on your PlayStation and find either a friend on your friends list that is online playing GTA or someone in a random community. You're gonna go ahead and join in on their session. Once you get the alert you're gonna deny the alert do it again. You're going to do it about two times just to get the alert to pop up a little bit faster. And once you got that all set up, you're going to go ahead and walk over to the spectator box. At that point, you're going to see the loading screen. It's going to fade black. And then you're going to see just the white loading circle. It's not going to say loading. Once that pops up, you're going to double tap your PlayStation button to join that person. Join them and accept the alert this time. Now as you can see, that's what you're looking for right there. Go ahead, join them, accept the alert. Now I did get a black screen before I was able to accept the alert. It didn't affect me, as you'll be able to see. Um, that's fine, just accept the alert. You may be stuck on this loading screen for about a minute. Uh, that's okay, as long as when you come back, you're either, you see under the map, or when you load back in, your guy will be falling underneath of the map. Now as you can see, I'm underneath the map and the loading screen. Uh, this may not happen, you may get a normal loading screen and everything looks normal loading in. However, when you do finally load in, you should be falling underneath the map. And if you get that, you know you pretty much got the glitch. I know this part can be kind of long, but I don't want to cut anything out just so you guys can see everything is working. Boom, now our guy's falling underneath the map. Uh, don't touch nothing, he'll come back right on the blacktop. Uh, at this point, you can go ahead and call a personal vehicle in. You can steal a civilian vehicle, it doesn't matter. Just get to your arena workshop. Now for some reason my allergy was outside, I don't know why that happened, but like I said, you can call in any vehicle so it doesn't really matter, just go ahead, drive it back in, this has never happened to me before, but it still worked. Now once you're back in the arena, you're going to go ahead and hop in the LRG or the free car that you don't mind losing. Now for some reason it didn't let me back in the car the first try, but it didn't affect everything. It still worked, so just go ahead, hop in your vehicle. You're then going to drive it over towards the mechanics, and then it should disappear just like that. Now go. You are then going to run over to the blue circle, press right on the D-pad to switch the vehicles around. You're going to select between the LRG and the Issy Classic. Swap those around and you should see them duplicate just like that. Now you're going to run over and make sure to hop in the car that was registered as the allergy. Remember that you swapped them around so your original is now on the opposite side. The tags are the same so you won't be able to tell the difference there. Now once you're in the vehicle, you're going to go ahead and open up your phone, go over to quick jobs, go down to activities and start any random activity either alone or with friends in session. Now as soon as the timer starts going in the bottom right hand corner, you're going to pull open your phone again. This is going to kick you out of the arena. At this point, your license plate should change 
If the timer is still in the bottom right hand corner, just simply open up your phone and go back over to Quick Jobs and that will get rid of the timer. You will then go down to Services and request your mobile operation center. Now once the MOC arrives, you simply drive up to the back, store the vehicle in the trailer. If there is another vehicle already in there, just simply replace it. That one will go to the arena in the spot that this one just came out of. And this one will now be stored in the back of your MOC. And this is the duplicate copy and you can tell by the license plate. I will also be going back to the arena to show you guys that the original copy of this car and the vehicle that was originally stored in the MOC are now in the arena. Alright guys, that's all. I hope you enjoyed. Thank you for watching. And if you did, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Yo, DJ, put a back to the record, baby, and give me this